and welcome to another exciting episode of Can It Take a K26, the show where we take a variety of blasters and see if they can be upgraded using a K26 spring. And if not, what can we upgrade them with? I have a guest here today. Dustin has come and he has donated the blasters hey. for today's video because he was interested to see what we could do with the Nerf Junior line. They recently came out with a series of blasters that are targeted towards even younger audiences than their normal stuff. So they're easier to prime and they also appear to be a lot more robust, but they're very underpowered because they're meant for small children. Well, can we do better? So we're gonna start with the flyer. And the flyer was released, when was this released? This Last year, year, 2023. 2023, apparently. Yeah. And it is your standard single shot rear prime blaster, but it's got a two finger thing here so if you're a small child you can get two fingers in there and it's a very short prime but it's still fairly robust um and when i mentioned that they were clearly designed to be you know more robust the plastic feels like a much a slightly softer plastic which means it can take impact better so these things could be dropped and thrown around and aren't likely to shatter and uh yeah let's let's take a look at the stock numbers and then we'll see if we what kind of a spring we can cram in this that's uh, probably a fairly robust, I would think, prime and catch, so yeah. we'll see. But first, stock numbers to the chronograph. Right, we're here, the chronograph. We've got the flyer and the five darts it comes with. It holds nine, but they only give you five because of course they do. All right, I missed. They try again. How very dare you. Still not getting any readings. <laughs> Behave yourself! 34! Finally, a reading. Also, train. <laughs> I am not impressed. No, I tried this one. This one was Down here somewhere. Lord, speed. <laughs> This one might be a little bit quicker. 32. We've got another one. We'll try this one. 38. Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> We're in the 30s. Uh, we might as well take it to the range because that's the next part of the series. <laughs> but uh, yeah, to the range. <laughs> right. We're here on the range. This is Dustin and he's helping me perpetuate the myth that I am in fact extremely short because he is in fact standing uphill. Watch this! I'm a giant of a man! Look at me! Look at me! Anyway, <laughs> enough of this silliness and fault here. While I'm left-handed, I want to be down here. All right, we both have a flyer. I don't know which one of us has the good one and which one of us has the bad one, but we're both going to try to hit the 25 and see what happens. I got the good one! Oh, I hit! Oh, the first oh, shot! Oh, I got hit! It <laughs> you should have seen the first take. We didn't hit nothing. Oh, no! Oh, nope, that's a dangler. Oh! <laughs> oh so close. Ah. Oh! Two hits! <laughs> Victory is mine! That's Victory right. is mine. Ah! Oh, come on, come on. Ah! Oh. Oh. Right. So that's what we're starting with. Precisely what we were expecting. Let's see if we can make one of them any better. Back to the shop! Right, so the performance was every bit as abysmal as we had hoped. Let's, uh, let's see what we can do with it. Got a lot of screws. Alright, well, first thing we're gonna take out is that horrific air restrictor. Well, that's the other thing. Apparently there's no O-rings. It's uh, more of a skirt seal. Fascinating. Okay. Yeah, and these are easy to pop right out. Yeah, it doesn't look like they're, they're not solvent welded. No. Okay. <laughs> so, there's the air restrictor yeah. out. But oh, it's a really dense spring, which means we can probably use a heavier spring with a much looser coil, so. Will K26 fit? Mm, we gonna find out. 
The plunger tube is held in with a pin. Fascinating. Okay, we're gonna need to. Oh, is it? D pin it. I got it. Okay, we've got a grand total of one, two, three, four, five, six coils. For those of you who are always wondering. All right, it catches. It's 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 a beefier prime, but not that much beefier. Let's let's see. Will it will it fire? It fires. So uh, <laughs> let's get those new numbers. <laughs> But first, a word from our sponsor. Abundant. Right, let's see if we've made any improvement. The Prime is definitely heavier. 59. 45. <laughs> 55. 56. One fell out. And 41. So, a definite improvement. Let's see if we can hit anything with it. This time we'll try some better ammo. To the range! Right, I'm here on the range. We only have the one modded one, so Dustin is just hanging out on the side. We've got K26 in this. We will see if we can hit anything at all. We're gonna start with elite darts, and then we'll try something hopefully a little better. Here we go. <laughs> I got a hit! Oh, and that was straight. Oh, a little squirrely on that one. Like a, a one of these dart holders does not hold darts. Oh, oh. that one was going. Oh. All right, let's try some better darts. I've got the uh, watermelon. Is that there with chili darts? I think they call these chili darts. They make me think of watermelon. I don't know why they made everyone else think of chili. Maybe the other side will be good one. We're gonna see. One of those things just drops a dart. I think it's that bottom one. Huh? Could be. Here we go. Let's try it with better darts. Ooh. Oh, that definitely flew straight. <laughs> just got a little. There we go. You gotta shoot up a little bit. A little that. bit. Oh, yeah. Two for two. Two out of three. Yeah. Three out of four. Four out of five. Darts actually do make a difference. What do you know? All right, let's let's go talk about it. <laughs> right. Well, that was remarkably a yes for the flyer. It did take K26. It did improve the performance, and with good ammo, it's actually fairly accurate. Now it is still only getting about 25, maybe 40 feet of range, but it's what it is. We took this the junior and we put K26 in it and got 50 FPS and it shoots nice and straight. The amount of power we have is just right for the barrel length. So uh, yeah, that's pretty pretty nifty. The Prime is, is, is substantial now, but it's also very short, yeah. which is neat. So yeah. yeah, I dig it. Right, on to our next contestant after these messages. All of the K26 used on this series was donated by Out of Darts. Check out his new website at outofdarts.com for all your nerf modding needs. Our next contestant is the Flyer's big brother, the Rambler. Now, the Rambler is actually a revolver, eight shot, and front pump. And again, a really robust mechanism. You can see the massive gears for the rotation mech there. Um, that is that is really quite impressive. Um, I also like that it primes, or it rotates on prime, which means it's less likely to jam. There's less moving parts, like the the. Maverick, it rotates as you pull the trigger, which leads to all kinds of problems. The strong arm rotates after it fires, which is why you can have slam fire, but it's a it's a finicky mechanism. It's easy for that to get gummed up. This just feels extremely robust. Uh, same softer plastic, good for being dropped. I like the finger guard design, I just like that. The handle is, as with the other ones, small, because again, these are designed for particularly small children, so I'm a whole finger pinky dainty. Um, but let's take a look and see what kind of power this has. Being bottom prime means there's probably some weird linkage. We might not be able to get as heavy a spring in, but we're gonna try anyway. So let's get those stock numbers. To the chronograph! Here we are. Chronograph for the Rambler. See if it does any better. 57. 59. 53. 
58. 44. 53. 46. With the exception of that one. Eh, okay. Eh, that's respectable for something you're going to give to a very small child. Uh, see if we can hit anything with it. To the range! <sighs> We're back on the range now with the Rambler. We only have the one of them, so I will get four shots, and the dozen will get four shots. We'll see if either of us can hit anything. No. Oh, no. Not so much. Oh! That elite accuracy, though. All right, show us how it's done. I, I was just giving you one extra. No. 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 <laughs> Nothing. Nothing. All right, let's see if we can improve this one at all. To the shop! We're in, and it's uh, it's very similar to say the uh, the Rebel. What's the crossbow revolver? <laughs> Guardian, the Guardian crossbow. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's similar to a Guardian crossbow, which is not in its favor for K26 because, but that link does seem fairly robust and well reinforced. So we're gonna try it. Here we go. Oh. Yeah. Oh, these we, springs fall out. Hey, we are not getting enough compression. So. No one is surprised by this. Yeah. Right, it works. Uh, I, I don't remember how many different springs we ended up going through, it was a couple. Finally found, I uh, doubled it up with the stock spring with something from the bin and it catches. So we're gonna get the, uh, the new performance and uh, see if we've managed any improvement at all. And now another word from our sponsor. Daughter. Right, I have no idea what's in it. Don't ask, it's a spring from the bin. And uh, let's see if we improved it. We were getting, what, 50s before? Yeah, 50s. 50s. Let's see what we're getting now. 81. 84. 73. 65. 80. 86. 86. 83. That'll, that'll do. Again, but can we hit anything? We, we will also try better darts. To the range. Right. We're on the range with the modded one. Let's see if I can hit anything at all. Again, we're gonna start with the darts it came with, and then we'll try some better darts. <laughs> Almost a 50. I got one. I got a bottle. I was not aiming for that bottle. <laughs> huh. back. Try. I think it's that one. I think we got one really bad dart. Would have been great if I did. Where'd that go? <laughs> right, better ammo. All right, again with the chili darts. I hit <laughs> the one behind it. Better, still a little squirrely, but better. Uh, it definitely needs better barrels. Uh, now we have too much power for the amount of barrel we've got. But uh, a definite improvement. So uh, let's go talk about this. <gasps> right, well that was a no for K26, but yes for a random spring from the spring bin to double up with the stock spring. Got us about the same performance increase, about 20, 30 FPS. The problem is this one is now has too much power for its barrels, and even with better darts, it's a little bit wonky. It would yeah, need, the barrels just aren't smooth They're enough. just, yeah, they're, they're stock barrels. Uh, it would need, you know, either a 3D printed with better or brass or something. Um, so, meh. The, the slam fire apparently never worked great and it really doesn't work well with that heavier spring load, but I 
you know. But again, we took the junior and we managed to get it up to 80. 80. That's more than we were expecting, <laughs> especially with those barrels. But uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, let's recap. Right, for those of you just tuning in or those who skipped to the end to see the results, that was a yes for the flyer and a no to the Rambler, but yes to a spring upgrade. They both got about the same increase, uh, but this one started lower. So this one, one started at zero. Yeah, this one started like 20s, 30s at best, and we got it up to the 50s. This one was in the 50s and we got it up to the 80s. So um, this one is now shooting very, very straight with good darts. This one's better with good darts, but not great. Not enough, too much power for the amount of barrel. So a little bit more modding, you could get a little bit more out of it. Um, the obvious question is going to be why? Well, they are incredibly durable. Um, the plastic quality, as we've said a couple of times in the video, is just a more durable style of plastic. It's more like Rubbermaid totes. It's It's got a little bit more flex, and so you're not nearly as worried about hitting them. They actually kind of, you can feel them kind of warping rather than cracking like more rigid ABS would. So I like that. And I also really like the colors. Yeah, and I would say paint-wise, if you wanted oh, to yeah. paint them, these are all layered, so you can make them all really of, yeah, nice. Yeah, there is the only paint on here is the color on this side of the Nerf logo. All the rest of this is different colored plastics that all come apart really easily. So for cosmetic stuff, they'd be great. One downside is they do have really little handles, like train, like Boomco size handles, because again, they're meant for even younger kids than normal. So, but they're still comfortable despite, they're just short. I find it that hilarious that the little tiny handles with giant triggers. They do, yeah, they're I think they're- like two I, I, triggers. It's definitely meant for two finger triggers. <laughs> they're clearly, and they went for a two, uh, you could get three yeah. tiny fingers in there. And then probably it is meant for a two finger for a small hand. <laughs> but, you know, anyway. I dig it, I kind of like the concept of the junior line. Real simple blasters, really colorful. Obviously tiny, I mean that stock is adorable. Um, but I like it. I think it's a neat, uh, a neat thing. You know, we've been hoping Hasbro would uh, step into the more adult side of things and make the high-powered half-dark blasters. They've apparently doubled down on, now we make toys for kids. I think one thing that this opens up is if they have a kid line, and you can have and Then you could line. potentially justify and then, an adult And then line. it wouldn't be as weird, right? Because I think the problem like today with like the Nexus is you have a Nexus sitting next to this. Yeah. Which is, Weird. Yeah, I, I still argue oh. that the, the high-powered stuff shouldn't have been in the toy section. It should be in the sports section with the airsoft and the paintball. Yeah. Um, but that make that that's a whole different marketing thing. There's probably different yeah. laws involved in that, and I don't know yeah. all the details. Or they just decided yeah. not to. I don't know. So. But I think it's a I think it's a neat concept. I like it. The one the one thing I would be interested in, what kind of FPS does this get where it's the gray trigger? <laughs> <laughs> Here. It actually, it somehow flies backwards. Yeah, yeah I know. Yeah, <laughs> throwing the dart, would, uh, we already knew throwing the dart would get you better performance. Yeah. Anyway, there it is. There's this episode of K26. There are more. There are more rival blasters. I'm working on getting the uh, rival Accu line. There's at least one more of the curve shot line yeah. I haven't done yet. Yeah. Um, and of course, there's always more dart blasters. So let me know what you would like to see next. If I have it, I will do it. If I don't, I will look into acquiring it. And as always, thank you guys for watching. Ha ha!